Hello and welcome back to Ollie Talks Airsoft. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about something a little bit niche, but this thing here. It is an old Western Arms Beretta Elite that I picked up from the uh, Midlands Airsoft Fair a couple of weeks ago. Now, as you can see, it's got a price tag of 40 pounds and it says not working on there. Well, I was lucky enough, well, when I was uh, about 18 years old, I picked up a couple of Western Arms Berettas. So um, I've actually got my own Western Arms Beretta. Uh, so I figured, you know, it's always good to have something to compare. So this is the actual broken gun. So essentially it's, um, Ian told me that it was the magazine that was basically not working in here. So the first thing I did when I bought it home was I, uh, I picked up uh, one of my old Beretta mags, which I know works absolutely fine, slipped it in and uh, works absolutely fine. Um, so, okay, how did I go about uh, fixing this mag? Because ultimately it wasn't working. Now, I've kind of covered this on a couple of previous videos where I've talked about uh, not over tightening things. And sometimes if you need to get a little bit more power out of a mag or one of your mags is like, and this counts for quite a few guns. Um, if your mags, one of them is slightly more underpowered, it could be that the gas valve has just been tightened in way, way too much. And so it's actually sitting uh, further in. So it's actually less for the hammer to hit against. And when I got this Beretta mag and I compared it to my Western Arms mag, I did notice that there was quite a difference in the height that the knocker was actually sitting. So all I did was um, I took it out, put some, uh, put a little bit of uh, silicon grease in there just to sort of seal everything up a little bit more. I think the one I used was uh, just this Abbey silicon gun grease. Um, so I popped a little bit of that in there, but when I tightened it up, I made sure to just do it until it bit, not the extra sort of half turn or so that you can do, just until it bit. That was all I wanted to do. And then again, when I put this piece on the back, I've just done it as tight enough so that it grips, not kind of cranking it down. What that has the result in doing is allowing this gas valve to sit a little bit further back. Now, when I now get this broken mag and slip it into the gun that was, uh, was not working, it now works um, absolutely fine. So I kind of wanted to make this video as, I feel a bit bad about having picked this up for 40 pounds. And the fact that I haggled on the price of it as well, I feel terrible, I'm so sorry. Um, to the person that I bought it off because ultimately that's quite a simple fix. And what's really funny about this is I really wanted to get um, a Beretta Elite back in the day. When I picked up one of these, uh, I really loved it. Um, I loved the feel of it. This is actually a perfect version. So it um, feels ever so slightly different and you can see with the like quality of the controls and stuff like that, some of the molding is actually just a little bit nicer. Sort of, if you look on the slide catch here, you can see some molding, whereas actually on, on this uh, perfect version, it looks a little bit better. So there are a couple of little enhancements on the perfect versions. And I used to play a lot of Max Payne back in the day. And it was actually, I think, just before The Matrix came out and made dual-wielding Berettas like the thing to do. But I was kind of, I did it off the back of Max Payne. That's why I've got two Mac 11s. That's why I've got two Berettas. And I ummed and ahed over getting a Beretta Elite and actually ended up just getting a second perfect version so that I could live out my diving across doorways, dual-wielding fantasies with Berettas. That was... Um, that is so cool. Um, so yeah, this is something that I'd actually have my eye on like 20 years ago, basically, and, and wanted to get one of. So seeing it for sale was 
yeah, it was kind of a bit of a dream come true. Um, you've all, there's always a risk when you're buying something secondhand because there could have been something completely catastrophic. But knowing that I had a couple of, you know, already had a mag for each of my Brettas anyway, if it was a mag problem, I knew that, well, at least I could always harvest the other two mags and put them in this if I, if I ever wanted to take it out and game it. Although the hop-up system on Western Arms is just absolutely atrocious. That's something for another video. It's, oh, it's just so stupid. Um, so they are more sort of collected pieces and they do tend to go for, you know, sort of like a hundred pounds upwards. Uh, so I was really fortunate to pick this up, but just a little, um, a little lesson there for, for everyone really. So, you know, kind of never give up on like fixing your guns and, yeah, reach out to the community as well because other people might be able to help. And this is one for, yeah, actually just backing off a valve and not just over tightening it. Um, that's the reason that this gun now gets a full sort of gas charge and it just works properly. There we go. Uh, lesson learned. One more for the collection that was nice and cheap. Um, I will do um, another video uh, shortly on the uh, on the other pistol that I picked up, but it's rather more a miracle story uh, with that particular one. This one was uh, just really lucky. So, yeah, it's really good to go to something like you know um, the Midlands Airsoft Fair, and there are airsoft fairs all around the country. But it's it's a good thing to go along to, and because you get to see so much stuff. I think someone picked up a an M203 for like 40 pounds and it's like a Colt engraved one. It looks really cool. So these things are out there. You know, it was, I think that place was like a fiver entry, which ultimately for what was on offer there was a bargain really. You know, lots of retailers in one place, you know, no delivery time, no delivery charges. Like normally you pay a fiver delivery for a riff so you might as well just go along and pay a fiver entry to get into something. I sound like I'm advertising it, I'm, I'm not. Um, but it is worth going and the more people go, the better it is. And it's really easy to set up as a vendor. I think um, Anvil Airsoft did a, did a video about it last year. He was there this year as well. So, you know, people go along. It's, you know, if you're into that kind of stuff and it's a fun weekend, you know, maybe if you're skirmishing week in, week out, you and the boys and girls can go down to the next airsoft fair. I think the next one is in September or something like that. But you know, they'll be happening all over the place. National airsoft event is coming up um, at the end of August as well. Oh, so much going on in airsoft right now. So thank you so much for spending your time with me and looking at this uh, Western Arms Beretta very briefly. I'll tell you what, I should, oh, I should have done this right at the start really. I'll show you the box so you can see which version it is. The way that they tend to do it um, is if there are multiple versions, the sticker will be on whichever version it is. But whenever, whenever you get a, a Western Arms, like this has actually got like the complete manual. It's even got the targets and stuff in there. Really cool. But you'll get one of these and it looks to all intents and purposes like a spare in a barrel. It's not, it's actually, it goes on to here, this is your proprietary loading uh, tube. So that's what you're supposed to do. And there should be, yeah, one of these. So that's how you're supposed to load the mags. No one uses them, but it's not a spare inner barrel that's in there. This one even has some, I think these are probably the original Western Arms um, BBs in there, which is really cool. They are going to be old, old, and definitely made of plastic. Um, and a couple of Allen keys. So yeah, this and a bag that I assume the gun was actually in. But I don't know. For me, I think this is. Uh, I think this is such a cool gun. Um, I'm so glad to have it. I'm so glad to have it in the collection. I think it's. Um, it's really cool. Uh, maybe I will take it out one day, uh, but it's just so good looking. Oh, it just looks, it just looks great. Um, so yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for spending your time with me guys. I will see you on the next video.